Miracles from Heaven Benevolent Guru Nanak, while sitting in Vahiguru's palace, saw towards the earth. What did he see? In this world, love has vanished. There is no enlightened soul. There is no love for the Lord. It's all darkness. People are in mistaken beliefs, superstitions and useless rituals. Everywhere is hatred. People are in suffering. Seeing the people in such suffering, the benevolent and merciful Guru could not bear the suffering of the world. His mind said, Why bother about one's own comfort? One should give comfort to the suffering people. One day he saw people's souls coming to another world, loaded with suffering and pain. His mind said, Why not go to the world, guide the people, rid the people of badness and enlighten their minds so that people do not waste their energy on worldly things and come to Vahiguru as bankrupt without the Lord's name and without kind deeds. In these thoughts, he looked towards Vahiguru. Vaiguru was in a gracious mood. With great respect, he prayed to Vaiguru what he wished, and Vaiguru was pleased with his idea. Vaiguru said, O oh Nanak, how is the world? Guru Nanak said, There is no love in the world. There is no religion in the world. People are in lies, ego, and selfishness. Vaiguru says, who will help these people? Guru Nanak says, I am at your command. I will do as you say. Vaheguru says, People are difficult to deal with. They have no religion. On listening to this, the Guru bowed his head down with humility as if he had replied. And Vaheguru understood the meaning. Vaheguru said, O oh Nanak, you are immersed in my love. I command you to bless the people. So Guru Nanak, immersed in Vaheguru's love, came down to the earth. There was music and happiness and celebration on the way. And then finally Guru Nanak reached the earth. But how will someone so great as Guru Nanak live in such a world where there is so much badness? How can a person who is used to living in Vaheguru's presence live in such a world of worldly fires? But as we will learn, as we will see how Guru Nanak spoke to those who thought badly of him, how he showered them with love and mercy, then we will understand, then we will understand how Guru Nanak's light and his love changed, transformed the people that he met. Guru Nanak's light found its way to his worldly home, which was in Dalwandi. Here lived Metta Kalu, who was to be Guru Nanak's father. He worked for the king. In his house, in a nicely decorated room, his wife and two maids were sitting. The lamp was lit. Suddenly there was a flash of light. Then divine music was heard. And it appeared that there were some heavenly beings too. Seeing these beings, the ladies were startled, but they were filled with a sense of wonder. They became attentive at once and they were intrigued at what was happening. Then saints and poets from the mystical unseen world came in. Everybody sat down together and sang a song. Welcome to you, O saint. Welcome to you, O saint. And when the song finished, 
there was again a flash of light stronger than before. The mystical heavenly saints sang to Guru Nanak because they knew exactly who he was. And on listening to these songs, the Guru said a few kind words to the saints. The saints then sang another song and the Guru again said a few kind words to the saints. The saints were all praising Guru Nanak, but Guruji, in their utmost humility, told them only to fall at the feet of Vaheguru. The saints continued to sing, and in this happiness and in this singing, the saints took blessings from the Guru, and they left. All of those heavenly beings left, but Guru Nanak remained. It was night. People of the Lavandi town were asleep. Little did they know what had just occurred. Outside in the forests, the plants and trees were in solitude. The wells that ran were also quiet. However, the stars were shining bright in the sky. The night passed quickly. Soon it was early morning. A bandit, a spiritual man, was looking at the stars. He would often go into deep thought while looking at the stars. And today was no different. From inside the house, his wife called loudly, Bandit dear, today at this time, what is on your mind as you look at those stars? You have been out there for so long. After some time, the Bandit answered, Darling, he said, a son is born in Medha Gallu's house. I am watching the stars and planets. We are so fortunate, my dear. We are so blessed. And he is a great, great, great saint. Tan Guru Nanak. Tan Guru Nanak.